Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we'll discuss about uh, symmetric, asymmetric, and anti-symmetric relations. In our previous class, we clearly discussed about uh, reflexive relation property. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, symmetric relation. A relation is said to be symmetric if x relates y then y relates x for all x comma y belongs to that relation so you need to understand this a bit carefully if x relates to y means if you are having a ordered pair x comma y then definitely you should have an ordered pair y relates to x means y comma x for all x comma y belongs to the relation you need to check this for all the x comma y pairs that belongs to that relation with examples you are going to understand it better let's take a set a is equal to 1 2 5 on this set you are having a relation r1 what's the elements that present in this re uh, relation r1 is equal to 1 comma 2 2 comma 1 1 comma 5 5 comma 1 1 comma 1 is it a symmetric relation yes it is a symmetric relation why we can say that it is a symmetric relation for every x comma y you take any x comma y 1 comma 2 you should have y comma x 2 comma 1 if x relates y x relates y then definitely you should have y relates x y relates x similarly 1 comma 5 5 comma 1 is there in our relation 1 comma 1 x relates y y relates x yes 1 comma 1 so that, that's why it is a symmetric relation let's take the next example r2 is equal to 1 comma 2 1 comma 5 5 comma 1 is it a symmetric relation no it is not a why x comma y x relates y y relates x it is not there so that's why it is not a symmetric relation Similarly, next example, our third one is equal to empty set. Is it a symmetric relation? Yes, it is a symmetric relation. Because the, our statement says, if x relates y, if you found a pair that belongs to x relates y, then only you have to check for y, y relates to x. There is no such pairs here. Empty set. If there is a ordered pair, then only you check for that. That is what the meaning of this. You need to understand it better. So these are some of the examples of symmetric, not symmetric examples. Now coming to the next definition, anti-symmetric. A relation is said to be anti-symmetric. When we are going to say that it is an anti-symmetric, if x relates y and y relates x, then x equal to y. This has to be happen when this has to be happen if x relates y and y relates x if these two terms happens in our relation then x is equal to y with example you are going to understand it better for all x comma y belongs to relation r now check the examples take the set 1 2 5 on this we are having a relation r1 is equal to 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 2 x relates y and y relates x if that happens then x equal to y yes 1 equal to 1 similarly x relates y and y relates x x equal to y yes 2 comma 2 both are same that's why this is a symmetric relation now now take the next example 1 comma 2 2 comma 1 is it a symmetric relation no it is, is it an anti-symmetric relation? No, it is not an anti-symmetric relation. This is anti-symmetric relation. X relates Y and Y relates X. If this happens, then X equal to Y. No, it is not equal. X is equal to Y. X is equal to 1. Y is equal to 2. It is not equal. So, this is not an anti-symmetric relation. Now, coming to the next one third one 1 comma 2 comma 1 comma 1 is it an anti-symmetric relation yes it is an anti-symmetric relation why x relates y there is no such pair called y relates x if these two happen then only you have to check for x equal to y 
this is the point you need to get in anti-symmetric relation. If x relates y and y re related to x, then only you have to check for x equal to y. But there is no such pair called 2 comma 1 here. That's why no need to check. Similarly, one x relates y and y relates x, then x equal to y. So, it is an anti-symmetric relation. Now, coming to the next example, next uh, uh, property, asymmetric relation. A relation is said to be asymmetric if x relates y, then y should not be related to x. Means, you should not have the pair called y comma x. If x, x comma y is there, you should not have y comma x. That is what the meaning of a asymmetric relation. This should be checked for all the pairs, for all x comma y belongs to the relation. With examples, you are going to understand it better. a is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 5. If you are having a relation r1 is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 1 comma 5. If x relates y, you should not have the pair called y relates x. 2 comma 1 is not there. 1 comma 5, 5 comma 1 is not there. So, it is a asymmetric relation. Similarly, the second example, 1 comma 2 comma 1 comma 1. x relates y, y relates x is not there. So, okay, 1 comma 1, x relates y, y relates x. It should not be there. So, it is not an asymmetric relation. Similarly, next one, third one, 1 comma 2, 2 comma 1. It is not an asymmetric relation. The last one is empty set. If x relates y, if it is there, then only you have to check for y relates x. Nothing is there. So, it is an asymmetric relation. So, this is about all symmetric, anti-symmetric and uh, asymmetric relations. Hope you understand these examples. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.